This probably brings back one of the worst memories for you. This is an authentic cattle car. Humans packed in, no place to sit, no place to lie down, no place to use the bathroom, no lights. A journey of 80 something hours, over 500 miles. When you stand here, you can actually smell it. What is this bringing back to you? Oh, this is, as you mentioned, probably one of the worst memories from the, the Holocaust for me personally. Another one would, of course, the worst would be the death of my father. But in my talk, I always refer to our trip in the uh, cattle car. Most survivors would call it a cattle car. Historians call it a box car, a rail car. That's not important. But it's hard to imagine that we spent over 80 hours, more than three days, three nights, in complete darkness, complete uncertainty. We had no idea where we would end up. I can still see the frightened faces of many of the adults and the adults, it was packed like sardines, so to speak. And the adults were either standing or sitting for more than three days and three nights. There were four children about my age, eight, nine years old, and we were able to lie down. And as Jim mentioned earlier, there was no food, no water. There were no words, no chairs, no blankets, no lights. There were no bathroom facilities. The smell was getting worse and worse. And if this had been 20 years ago, it would have been very difficult for me to be this close uh, to the cattle car. My oldest granddaughter visited the museum with her school a couple of years ago. And I had talked to her class, her, all my grandchildren, and she knew the story. And the children that were with her went into the cattle car. She couldn't do it, she was in tears. I read that there were 85,000 inmates from Theresienstadt, or 140,000 that were sent to extermination camps. This is a very, very high number, and many of them uh, ne never, never survived. I'm very fortunate to be here do you ever wonder why? Why you? Why were you spared? Why was your mother spared? Uh, it was a miracle. That's the best way I can say it was a miracle. We never gave up hope. Hope, a small word packed with optimism. For many, hope is fading though. And because of the bad things that have happened, you may think there is no hope left to live for. The psalmist actually felt this way when he said, For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. The innocent died to pay for the sins of the guilty. The darkest night became the brightest day. When early Sunday morning, Jesus rose again. Jesus offers salvation from hell to heaven to anyone who will simply trust in him as savior. Hope is available to you today.